Hi guys, we're in the kitchen again. This time, because I've got a request from Aaron Koi to make a chocolate powered car. So I've bought some bars of chocolate, the cheapest I can find. These were, I think they were 50 pence for 100 grams. So I've got two bars. We're going to melt them, which you need hot water and a bowl because the chocolate goes in the bowl, not in the hot water. That will melt it and then I'll pour it into a plastic cup, a paper cup, sorry, and then we'll work from there. So we've got water in the saucepan now, which I pre-boiled in using the kettle. It's not touching the bottom of here. And the idea is the heat will come off, well, steam basically. That'll heat up the glass and the chocolate can melt inside, so we need to break it up into bits. While my assistant is stirring the chocolate to help it melt, I put a small hole in the bottom of this paper cup pushed some string through, tied it to a toothpick and I put some loose knots in it as well just to roughen up the surface. The idea is we're going to pour the chocolate in there and we should be able to suspend it by the string. Right then, now we're going to try and get the chocolate into the cup. Right, we'll leave that to set. I'm just shaking it a little bit to help any air bubbles come out. Open the fridge door. There's our chocolate. Hopefully, nice and solid now. Can we get it out of the plastic cup? That's the question. Mm, chocolate tastes all right. There's our chocolate weight. So just in case you hadn't worked out where we're going with this, We're having a gravity powered car, only we're using a chocolate weight. That's the weight. So it's a chocolate powered car. Just need to extend that bit of string now to go down to the back axle. Okay, that should do. Ready to test run our chocolate powered car. I'll try and chase it with the camera. Off we go. Excellent. That was about eight meters. Job done. Summary time, what have we got? We've got a chocolate powered car. Yeah, okay, it's a gravity powered car. 
and the weight is a big lump of chocolate. In this case, 200 grams of chocolate. I'll put a link in the video description to my gravity powered cars playlist so you can see all the others. Nothing special. Four CDs for the wheels, eight milk bottle tops for the hubs on each of the wheels, barbecue skewers for the axles, drinking straws for the axle tubes. Just a piece of cardboard for the body. Uh, these are bamboo um, rods, well the same as barbecue skewers, they're just a little bit thicker. Came from a garden centre instead, they're flower canes. The pulley is made from a toy car wheel that I've just put some bits of plastic either side to stop the string falling off. It's a little bit of bicycle spoke going through the middle, but any metal rod would do. We've got some little plastic beads there to act as spacers to hold it all in place. A little bit of barbecue skewer stuck on the back axle there, out at an angle, so you can hook the string on it easily. And that's it. Job done.